Critics are outraged over the state's plan to invite people to hunt or trap coyotes to win a prize. Channel 2's Craig Lucy is here. Craig, the DNR says this is necessary for the wildlife population. Jovita, the DNR says that they are calling this the Georgia Coyote Challenge. It starts next month and then lasts all the way through August. Now, you have the chance to get a lifetime hunting license, but some biologists told me that they are stunned by this whole idea. For more than a decade, the Atlanta Coyote Project has been filming, documenting, and tracking coyotes in Metro Atlanta. When the Georgia Department of Natural Resources introduced the Georgia Coyote Challenge, they told me that they were stunned. I just can't believe it. By holding these contests is is just really ridiculous. Chris Mowry started the Coyote Project and says the contest, which starts in March and ends in August, is inhumane. Initiating this in March um, is is intended to coincide with pup rearing season. Both parents are involved in feeding of the offspring, and so. That will kill the parents. They would like the DNR to rescind the challenge, but the DNR told me, quote, despite these various opinions, coyote predation is scientifically shown to negatively impact wildlife populations, kill livestock, kill domestic pets, and contribute to undesired human coyote interactions. Here are some of the rules. Each coyote you bring in will earn you one entry per month for that lifetime hunting license. You have to bring the coyote's carcass to one of the named DNR offices. You can submit up to five in this. The coyote cannot be alive and it cannot be roadkill. We're never going to get them under control. Coyote trapper Tim Smith with Catch It Wild told me he will participate in the challenge to get a lifetime hunting license, but says his phone will always ring. Get them every day. Every day, you know, a dog comes up missing, a cat comes up missing. Sure. All right, since you can't fire weapons in city limits, the DNR says that you can trap them. The Atlanta Coyote Project told me that they are already working with state legislators to ban this type of hunting challenge, which they say other states have already done. Jovita. Craig, thank you.